Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. We're filming on a new camera today. Maybe if this video goes according to plan. So if it looks different, sounds different, I'm still trying to figure it all out. So bear with me. But today we are doing a video on the brand mascara. I had never heard of this brand before. Um, a girlfriend of mine a couple weeks ago invited me to a Facebook party and for mascara. And basically it's the gist of what I got, I don't know that much about it. Um, the gist of what I got is it's a compact makeup system. So you order, they're basically Z palettes, and then you order your shades of foundation that you want, your blushes, your highlighters, and all of that. Majority of which is cream products. There's a few powder products. I got one powder product out of mine that I got, and the rest are all cream products. Like I said, I'd never heard of them before, but the gist of what it is, it's for it's makeup for moms or it's easy makeup, fast makeup, which yes and no, because it's kind of a lot of steps. Yes, you can get it done pretty fast, but I don't know. I played around with it once or twice, um, but I figured I would show you guys on here as well. But and I'll list down below because all the shades are on the bottom. I have the lids down here, but like I put them in. So if I can remember the shade names, I'll link them down below. So I picked up two lighter foundations and two darker foundations. And not necessarily foundations, you're supposed to use it as like highlight and contour and kind of blend it all together. And then I also picked up um, a more of a bronzer, bronzer shade to also do a little bit more contouring and then to just bronze up the skin. I got a blush, one of their highlights, and then this powder right here is actually a powder. Obviously, it's a powder. Um, it's more so a setting powder. Translucent, it doesn't really show up at all. I use it to set my face, but I figured I would do a quick little tutorial with it. I don't know. It's also, the lighting might be really weird. It's 9.22 at night. I've waited all day to film. I've had a horrible, horrible headache. Oh, it is 9.30 at night, and I'm about to put a full face of makeup on so I can film this video, film another video, and then take it all off and go to bed. But life of a YouTuber, right? All right, guys, let's just jump right, right. in. So we're gonna do this quick, easy, and sweet. I am just gonna pick up my Japanese brush, one of the ones I got on a haul not too long ago. It's got the nice little slant to it. I'm gonna start out by putting some of the lighter shades. I'm gonna dump, which, why do I always say dump? I'm gonna put a, the lighter shade closest to my eyes on both sides. And in the center of my eyebrows, down my nose, and on my chin. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit darker of a shade and do the same thing, but just a little bit lower down. Doesn't take, I mean, these don't come with very much product. I will say that. I was kind of blown away at how small the pants were for how expensive this was. But I get it, easy makeup. And the first day I tried it, I loved it. I mean, I was kind of annoyed about how small it all was. And then I tried it and I really did like it. Um, I think I might just pick up my normal foundation brush just to blend this together. I kind of want to just get this going and then I'll get the contour shade and the bronzing shade out. But the first, I've worn it twice so far. And the first day I wore it, I really liked it. I really liked how it laid on the skin. Then a couple days later, I did exactly the same as I did the first day, at least I think. I mean, I don't know why I would have changed it. I didn't notice that I changed anything different, but I absolutely hated, hated the way it looked on my skin. And I don't know if maybe without thinking I wore or I used a different brush or what. But even like right now, I don't really love the way it's sitting on my face. Maybe I need to use a different brush. Let's try that. So let me go back in with a little bit more of the light, light shade. Like the first day, it gave me really good coverage. And then the second day, and then now this time, I feel like it's giving me zero coverage. Like zero. So let's cover up. It covered up that little red spot pretty dang good. I'll admit that. Maybe I just need to stick to this brush. Maybe that's my problem. It's a good thing about YouTube videos is trial and error. <laughs> it's just sometimes you don't really see the trial and error as much on your end. It kind of gets edited out, but that's the whole point in trying a new product is for you guys to see how it is. Um, after 
I got invited to the Facebook group. Of course, I like looked it up and I watched um, a whole bunch of YouTube videos. But for the most part, the only videos I could find, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better coverage if I use my beauty blender um, or it's the Morphe beauty sponge. I jumped onto YouTube and I watched a couple different tutorials on it. Now I'll admit it, they're able to get their makeup on really fast and it looked really good. But all the videos I saw were people who were selling it. So of course they're going to make it look good. And two, it was everybody who had like absolutely perfect skin and you couldn't tell if they had any flaws anyway. So who knows? Like, I'm pretty sure my camera shows flaws. Like, I don't know how to set a setting to make it so it doesn't. So to the best of my knowledge, you should be able to see everything that's going on on my skin. Um, okay, I will say this shared it out some. That's the other thing I guess I need to say too is I'm actually going to pick it up a little bit on my finger to cover this up um, and a little bit on my nose is this is supposed to be more of a lightweight coverage it's not supposed to be really heavy I mean if you want it to be heavy you definitely could but you would go through this so freaking fast like so fast and for me having oily skin that setting powder I bought I should have just got like a different blush or a different highlight because that setting powder won't work for me with how oily my skin is so also I think maybe let's try this maybe dabbing is the way you do it instead of like smearing I don't think that's the right word I just can't think right now oh to the end of summer my kids go back well my oldest goes back to school next week my youngest doesn't start until after Labor Day but it's the end of summer I'm at my wood's end we're going to a water park tomorrow. My husband has Thursdays off always, and I'm filming this on a Wednesday night, obviously. Um, my oldest turns seven next weekend, and he wanted to do a water park. Um, this year, we decided not to do birthday parties, just to do like little family things, and he chose the water park, and so we're doing that tomorrow. See, I don't know. I don't mind having my stuff show through. I really don't. But it feels a little thick on my face to still be seeing product on my face, if that makes sense. Like, it feels heavy for having such a light coverage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it did even me out pretty well. I'm not mad at it, mad at it, but I feel like I need to set my entire face. Like, I just feel super, super, like, it's going to move on me. I'm going to dump. Why do I say dump? I am going to go back and forth between the two contour shades. Um, they're more so like dark foundations. And so that's one thing it is, you can find whatever shades you need, which is nice. And so I just go back between the two and this is just like a little cheap elf brush. I'm gonna put this along my contour. That's the other thing I didn't really need to blend the foundation out over this way. So the more you use it, I think the easier it will get. And so I'm not mad that I bought it. I think it's super, like, interesting. I bought it because we're going to Florida in, like, a week and a half. And one, I don't really want to take makeup with me because it's going to be hot as crap. And I don't do well in heat, so I'm not going to be wearing very much makeup. But it would be nice to have something small with me just in case. And so I might bring this with me. We'll see if I can master it in the meantime. See, that looks better. I'll get that. I need to remind myself, though, that the bronzer shade on the next side is so dark. Like these, I really have to go in to get the kind of color payoff that I want. Put a little bit on my nose. Okay. I'm starting to like this a little bit more. I definitely think it looks prettier. I don't feel crazy, crazy greasy I don't know what the difference between these shades are but so we went through these shades I'm gonna flip it over the nice thing was I don't know if they were doing a deal or what for the party but I got this compact for free and I just had to buy the eight shades I will say though so I'm just gonna jump into the bronzer real quick yeah see it's a lot darker than I was anticipating the first time I used it it's pretty though um it took forever forever to get to my house like from the moment and it says like 
it says they take like a day or two to process your order in case you need to change anything which is nice because how many times have you ordered something and then like oh no I have it sent to the wrong address or I got the wrong shade or something but they always tell you like oh once it's like we've received it it's too late to change anything and so they do say they give you like a day or two leeway in case anything needs to be changed but even then I want to say it still took like three weeks to get to my house like and it wasn't like the independent gal that told because like it's just like a hosted party or whatever so like senegents or something like that so i bought it through the party but it's not like the host is who sends it to me i think i think it still comes from like the main manufacturer see that's really pretty don't mind this this is my um dark brown dry shampoo that i put in my hair to so you can't see my bald spots as much uh, <laughs> welcome to my life I would totally use this as like, if I don't use it for the foundation aspect, I think this would be really good to use as a cream contour, like exactly what I'm using for it now. I don't have to use it as just the products that it is because I really do like the darker shades that I have in here. I haven't been able to find a cream contour that I truly like and these darker shades I really, really like. It might be worth it for me to get a couple lighter foundation shades and I could just take the powder that's in here and take that out since that's not necessarily one I think I'm going to use again but all right I'm going to jump again why do I say dump I'm going to jump back to the other side real quick pick up a lighter shade on a smaller brush and just run this down my nose because I went a little crazy with that bronzer do this and then I'm going to take just my normal foundation brush and pounce it over and any leftover bronzer product on this and just go back over again all right i'm gonna take my beauty sponge just go over make sure everything's blended and pick up any excess product all right so far it's not terrible definitely not tons of coverage let's here since we're trying this out let me see how it works like going in straight with the sponge so I'm gonna go into the light shade I think I'm just afraid to use so much product because there's such a little product in here or at least it seems like there's such little product in here like the pans are like a typical eyeshadow pan I mean obviously they're a lot longer but like depth wise and so but I guess all four of these are technically foundations and so I could get all four shades of foundation in just a little bit different. So that's the nice thing is you can customize it to your skin tone because my skin tone changes a lot throughout the year. In the winter I'm really fair, but in the summer I get pretty tan. Um, this is my tannis, really, but it didn't work too bad. Again, it still doesn't give me that crazy coverage that I want for as much as I feel it on my face. All right, next I'm going to jump into the blush. Last time I tried this blush, I wasn't overly crazy about it. Um, I think I'm just going to use the same bronzer brush. Yeah, there's nothing left on there. But see, like, see here? This is the thing that, like, makes me, I don't know, second guess it. Because some of the bronzer is in the blush now. Which I guess it's not a bad thing because it goes next to you the same spot on your face. But, I don't know, it's kind of hard to get, whoo! It's a little scary. I'm gonna pounce that off a little bit. I've never really used cream blush before. This was the first time. I definitely went in a lot heavy handed. A lot more heavy handed. Why is talking so hard at night time? All right, I'm gonna have to blend this. Ooh, that's my one thing too though. Like I'm so used to powder products that I can kind of put it on sloppily and then just blend it all out. But this, it's definitely a little bit harder to blend out than like a powder product. Oh, but that, see that toned it down really nice, see? It's not terrible, but it's not, I just, it's, it's not necessarily something wrong with the product. It's just, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to cream bronzer and cream highlighter. So I'm gonna blend that kind of all over. Sun kids look, maybe. Who knows, might have just ruined it. Yes, we'll see on the playback. Oh, 
like I said, I can just feel it on my face right now. Like my hair is sticking to it. Normally this is like, I feel like I have a full, full, full coverage makeup on right now, but it doesn't show that I have full, full coverage on right now. All right. Let's see what brush do I want to pick up for this. I'm just going to pick up, this is just a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08 brush. And I'm going to go, let's see, look, the blush is into the highlight now. Let's see. I wasn't overly impressed with this highlight the first time. I mean, it's pretty. Let's see, can you see that? Can you see it? Uh, I can't tell if you can see it. My makeshift viewfinder isn't really good. I don't know if I just got a really subtle highlight. Um, I looked at colors and shades forever online. Pinterest had tons. I'm not joking. Like a couple different days, I kept going back and forth, looking at shades, making sure I had exactly what I wanted, exactly what would work for my skin tone. And I don't know. I like the blush color. It's definitely a color that I like. I just don't know if, but see, I feel like this side, I have the same lights on both sides. I feel like the highlight didn't show up as much on this side. Let's see. Mm. I'm just not crazy about the highlight. But again, it's not the end of the world. Okay, it's just one product that I'm not. Because also I'm putting this on all over, but I'm going to set it all. And so it's gonna just disappear, right? Right? Yes. Say it with me, yes. All right, I'm gonna blend it in with the same brush that I use for blush and contour. Yeah, that highlight is like non-existent. And see how it's I don't know at what point you turned off, but you turned off at some point. But I was showing how it like creases on my eyes and I don't really like that. <laughs> Why am I using, using the blush brush to go all over? But see, like I feel like I've blended too much now that you can't see everything let's go back in to the bronzer again i think i kind of like i felt like i blended too much of the bronzer away so i'm adding a little bit more bronzer which again i'm using a ton of product now even more on my face i feel like it's not sitting down right here it's probably because i have salt oh, i just picked up more and i didn't need more I definitely feel like this is a product I'm gonna need to try it like multiple times. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, this is the third time of me using it. And I still don't know how I feel about it. I think using it for a full face isn't for me. Honestly, I think what I'm gonna like it for is I think I'm gonna pick up a whole not a couple different shades of a foundation. And so I can always like match my foundation the way I wanna match it, I think is the way I'm gonna use it. And the bronzer, I do not think I'll use it for the blush or the highlight anymore. Purely because even if the highlight was like super, super stunning, I'm gonna set my entire face. Like, I'm gonna jump in to the highlight right now. I'm just gonna pick up a blush, or I'm gonna jump into the setting powder and set my whole face. Um, I'm gonna, just gonna set the main parts with this and then I'm gonna jump into my normal powder to set the rest of my face. I don't know. I like the concept of it. I will definitely give you that. And if you watch all these videos of all these moms, like they have it down pat and it looks so pretty and maybe I just don't have the right skin type for it. Maybe it's not meant for oily skin. I'm gonna jump into my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder on my brush. I'm just gonna set my whole face with this to get the stickiness down. I hate feeling I have makeup on my face. Oh, I feel like I have so much makeup on right now. <laughs> I think, I like how I keep trying to be positive about it, but I think it's kind of clear. It's just not my thing. I'd be down to try, like I said, get a couple different foundation shades and just use it as a foundation and then set it and then just put normal products on over the top. Cause like the whole point of it is that I'm supposed to be able to just take this and be done. But I can't do that. I need to set my whole face. And so I still need to take this with me. And then when you set your face, you kind of lose the contour and you kind of lose everything else. And so I'm still going to need to put some bronzer on 
and everything else. Um, they do have eyeshadows. You can get bigger palettes than this, by the way. Um, but I just opted for the little one the first round. I don't know. It's still a little sticky up here. It's not terrible. I think it gives me a decent base. I'm really red right here though. And you can still see that. And I have tons, tons of makeup on right now. I feel like I have so much makeup on my face. You can still see all these little breakouts I have all over. Granted, like, technically I have a full face of makeup on right now, other than like my eyes and brows and everything, but I feel like you can't tell. I just, I don't know. Maybe let's set it and I can do my brows and stuff. Went a little overboard. Let's see if that helps. I have a fan, but I dropped it and I'm not going to bend down and get it. I'm just gonna do a quick brow real quick. <sighs> and I'll be, I'm just gonna do my brows and I, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and mascara real quick. And I'll come right back and do my final thoughts. But I think you know where we're going with this. All right, I put my brows on, some mascara on, threw a little bronzer and my eyelids. Oh, and I put some chapstick on. I tried, so the one thing they say is like, you can use the blush as a lip. Tried it, not my color, my teeth turned yellow. So I just put on a little chapstick and I put a little bit of the highlighter in the center and it works decently well. So I didn't put anything else on my face. It's not terrible, it's not my favorite. Um, the setting spray definitely did help. It is a little cakey around my nose. I feel like it's gonna set in to my smiling lines. I don't know. It's not the worst. It's not my favorite. I don't like the way it's sitting on my nose right now. I just noticed. But when do I ever like the way makeup sits on my nose? Like I said, I think what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to pick up some more shades um, of the foundation shades in some lighter tones, take out the blush, the highlight, and the setting powder. And then they come with like covers and so I can keep them in my collection still. But I think what I'm going to do is going to have like a whole dark side and then a whole light side. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. A whole light side. And then that way I can customize my foundation the way I want it. I think I'm going to like it that way better. I really, really... So this is what it looks like at the end. But I really, really want some more bronzer on. So I'm going to pick up my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is what I have. Just ran through my crease real quick. I wanted to put this on on camera so you could see just how much better it looks with a little bit more with more makeup like I said I just think I have way too much makeup on for such little payoff I guess and it's not the foundation actually that isn't giving me the best payoff it's the bronzer and the blush because I need to set it with powder so put on just a little bit more bronzer I'm gonna put on some blush I'm gonna pick up my Tarte palette it's my blush brush just go through like 47 colors Put a little bit of blush on that shows up a little bit better see how i can be a little bit more messy with it but it's okay because i'm going to pick up my blending brush and blend it all together and then that highlight is like non-existent so i'm gonna jump in to my flower beauty highlight if i can open it and just kind of go through all the shades real quick put a little bit the puppies are playing out in the living room, if you can hear them. Put a little bit of highlight on, a little on my nose, cover up the fact that I don't like the way it's sitting on my nose. Oh, that's the hair. My Cupid's bow. Pick up a smaller brush in the inner corners. And under the eyebrows so but even then that's not that bad that took me like what three seconds not literally like three minutes to just freshen up the color some I don't know like I said I still don't think it's necessary I just feel like there's little hairs sticking everywhere it's not necessarily for me I can't get like the straight line that I really really like I'm gonna pick up my broken um, brighten up banana powder from Essence 
and try to just get me a, a little bit more structured of a line. It's just at this point, there's so much makeup on my face, you can only do so much. <sighs> so final thoughts, is it worth the price? I'm gonna say no, honestly no. Cause I wanna say, I don't even know how much this was. Close to $100, easily. And I would much rather spend $100 on four different foundations than spend it on this again. Like, not that I ever make this face ever, but it's just, it's settling in funny. And I really don't like how I can't get it to lighten up right here and right here. So, Mascara Beauty, this is the third time I tried it. I'll keep trying it. I'm going to keep using it because I spent the money on it. I don't think it's worth it. And I feel bad. I don't like that. Oh, I just realized that there is a logo on here. So the logo. I mean, the palette's really cute. I think this is so cute. And if it worked perfectly, like how great would this be for traveling that this is all you needed to take this and a couple brushes and you're done and some eyebrow products and mascara. But it just didn't work out that way for me. So sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, guys, that is it. We're done here. There's not much more I can do. Can't make it look any better. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. And this is really awkward because my husband's in the next room, so I know you can hear me. I don't like it. I'm going to make him go into the living room and out of the man cave for my next two videos that I have to film. But oh, it's 10 o'clock. Still have two more videos, so I'm going to go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.